Hey guys, uh, so this video I'm going to talk about defending the kneecap pass. It's one of the positions I think that gives guys the hardest time and I see a lot of mistakes people are making when defending it. Basically, like three of the main ways the guy's going to get around your guard is either he's going to go around your legs, which is more like a toriando or a leg drag. He's going to uh, go under, which is more like a stack or like double under pass. Or he's going to trap your one leg in between his legs, which often goes into a kneecap pass. Sometimes it can be them going to half guard. Uh, you know, they can even folding pass, right? But what we're looking at today is the knee cut pass. So, the most important thing for me, just similar if you watch my guard retention video, I'm always trying to keep my knees tight, okay? So when he starts trapping my leg, I really want to keep this knee tight to my body, right? One of the most common mistakes I see people make is when this starts to get trapped, they drop this leg low, making it much easier for the guy's knee to go through. Pretty much every attack you're gonna do, uh, most of the basic traditional attacks from, from your guard, you need your leg out. If I wanna do a triangle choke, I have to have my leg free. If I wanna go to closed guard, I have to have my leg free. If I wanna do an all plata, I need my leg out, right? You have to get this out. If you play spider, deal eagle, a lot of positions that I think work well versus a bigger, stronger opponent require our leg to be free, okay? So what we want to focus on is when he comes in, I keep my knee tight to my chest. I like to have my knee in front of my arm here, like this. That makes it hard for him to get it to the floor, right? So I go here, I keep this frame, he starts to enter. Maybe he'll, this arm here will either be on my lapel, is a very common entrance, or he'll be on my leg. If he's on my lapel, I focus on keeping this frame tight. I'm going to frame both hands, one on each shoulder, and I'm just going to loop my foot over to lasso. All right, you don't need to be super flexible to do this. It's about framing. I see a lot of people grab this sleeve too early and then they can't get their foot up, right? We wanna frame with our hands, keep our core tight. This foot comes over and now a little push allows me to bring this back out. Now you can try to close guard if you want to. You can start playing spider, that's up to you. Some common mistakes I see people make is when the guy starts to enter in, they, they want to get the guy's weight off them. So instead of keeping this knee tight and focusing on this foot coming over, what they do is they start to go across with the top knee and they start going more for like a knee shield. Once you start knee shielding, the problem is you kind of drop this leg to do it once you turn your hip over. And the instinct makes sense because you're kind of getting the guy's weight off you, but then you get kind of trapped in this position where you can never get your leg back out. Uh, the other one, it's not so much a mistake, it's just a difference in style, is as the guy comes in, they start to go reverse de la Hiva. And that's okay if you like to play reverse de la Hiva, but if you don't like to invert on your neck, I've had a lot of back problems in the past, I don't like to invert a lot. So, uh, when you play here, you're more looking to go under, it becomes more difficult to get your leg out, right? So instead, when you're here fighting, you don't have groups and you're uh, just defending and the guy starts to initiate the pass, just stay tight with the knees, find a way to get this outside leg, and get your foot back out. Always protect this space. Try to avoid, when he enters, having that instinct of turning this knee over, coming with the knee, to, to like this, to start dropping that. Try to avoid that, right? 